Hi, I'm Melita, I'm a registered nurse, and this is my story. Two years ago, I was diagnosed with a type 1 biphasic latex allergy. Before that, I'd been working as a nurse since the year 2000 when I graduated in my dream job. Living with a latex allergy has changed everything about my life, my career, my family, and everything they do. Originally, when I was first working in nursing, I developed a sensitivity to latex, developed a rash on my hands that became quite itchy, and when checking with other staff, they suggested I stopped wearing latex gloves. From that time on, I never wore latex gloves, but I did continue to work in a healthcare setting that always used latex gloves around me. So I had a latex sensitivity diagnosed, but I'd continued on in my career for over 14 years with no further issues. One day, randomly, in the middle of a night duty, I had an unexplained event of anaphylaxis. It's hard to explain in three minutes just how much a latex allergy does impact on your life. It changes everything you know in your life dramatically. Not only my life, but the life of my family and my friends and everything that they do. Everything that you take for granted in life becomes something that you have to think about and process. The spontaneity in life has disappeared a little because everything you need to plan to go out for dinner, you need to plan to do your groceries. Latex is literally everywhere. Imagine yourself working your normal night duty, planning the care of your patients, checking on them in bed and chatting with your colleagues in the passage. Then without warning, you turn red, develop hives and an itchy nose. You feel like you've scored a huge hit of hay fever. Then you notice your tongue is swelling. Then vaguely in the distance, you hear a familiar voice calling, Melita, Melita, are you okay? Quick, someone call a met. It's the after hours coordinator, both your colleague and your friend. You hear the met call over the PA system and the world is spinning a little. You vaguely feel yourself fall to the floor, guided by someone's arm as you hear an escalated call and the code blue alarm sounds. That was me. Without warning, I was suddenly the patient in intensive care and not the ANUM on night duty. It would be four anaphylactic reactions later and multiple allergy testing that it was decided that I had a latex allergy and not just a sensitivity anymore. I was anaphylactic and I have a biphasic reaction, which means I actually go into anaphylaxis twice within four hours, despite constant treatment. The implications on an individual's life with a latex allergy are huge. My life the life of my family and my friends has changed dramatically. I've had 19 reactions in the last two and a half years. 10 of them were in my workplace, seven of them in the community and two when I was actually in for elective surgery. I now take a medication regime of over 15 medications and it varies every day. Living with a latex allergy has changed the outlook of everything in my life. Having to train my eight-year-old daughter to use an EpiPen because she is the only other person at home with me to do it was something I never would have considered was something that had to happen and it's a really difficult task to explain just how much it impacts on her the things she's had to give up the things she can't do and the things we can't do together as a family just the simple things like planning to go out and about you know to sort of go out on a whim and yes we'll do that is the stuff that we just can't do anymore we go yes we'll do that but let's just make a few phone calls first make sure it's safe and then we plan everything we always have to have a backup plan to make sure that if something happens while we are out, I've got somebody who knows where we are, who can pick Maddie up if I have to go to hospital. And the reality is, is this happens and it's happened many times. I guess the reason for sharing my story is to try and make people aware of latex allergies and how quickly they can change. If you do have a rash or develop asthmatic symptoms quite unexpectedly, then it's really important that you do get it checked. I didn't ignore mine, it just, it went away and I continue to work in a latex environment. I would encourage any hospital who's planning or looking at changing over to seriously consider going completely latex free because being a half-half working with latex and non-latex doesn't work. It doesn't prevent latex allergies. It doesn't protect the staff. Hospitals going to a latex free environment not only protects their patients and the clients, but it also protects staff and everybody within the healthcare setting.